And I can tell you that Z scores and mahalanimous, mahalanimous distance uh, values correlated above 0 0.90 in this case. So they're measuring something very similar. Uh, I wanted to use mahalanimous, mahalanimous distance uh, because I can calculate some uh, chi-square values and some p-values with that very easily in SPSS. Uh, okay, so the first thing I had to do, which is, a, which is kind of an arbitrary thing, after I've inputted the data and the dates, I had to select a time period. Uh, was I going to go back two years, three years? Um, and this is one of those arbitrary things in, in financial analysis of, t of trying to use, you know, if you're using moving averages and such, do you use a 50-day, 30-day, 20-day? I chose 75 days uh, as my... Uh, as a filter for my data. Uh, so this is going back, I'm going to do the analysis uh, based on 75 trading days. So I thought that was a good balance between uh, a contemporary period that would be indicative of what the trade, what the stock is like currently. Going back two years I think would just be invalid because the stock was just different two years ago. If you go back on this stock three, four, five years ago, it was trading much more frequently and it was worth a lot more as well. Uh, so I thought 75 days would be a good balance in terms of uh, in being an indication of what the company is trading like currently, uh, but also a sufficient, en enough, a sufficient amount of power, statistical power, to actually detect a statistically significant observation if it is an outlying va value. So if I chose five days, obviously that would be a very, a clear, indi a very clear indication of what the company is trading at you know exactly now, but it would be a very unpowerful test uh, to, to to test um, the, the two hundred thousand as a statistically significant abnormal event, particularly in light of the fact that it looks like maybe there was some abnormal trading activity five days before the announcement was made. So I use seventy five days. I think that's one of the limitations with any of these types of analyses. Exactly what day you're going to use. So I'm going to select my cases based on my ID variable which I created. So I'm going to ID less than 76, which is uh, going to be 75 days or less prior to the announcement. So this is July 13th. The announcement was made July 14th. Uh, so to get my Mahala numbers distance variables, uh, values, I'm going to go into linear regression and it's really just a question of putting in volume as your independent variable and some arbitrary variable as your dependent variable. And then I want to save my Mahala numbers distance values. And I click OK. And SPSS just uh, tells me that it's done in regression, which is not going to be uh, relevant for me at this stage. Also, you know, correlation between uh, correlation between volume and ID it could be interesting. Uh, in light of the fact that ID uh, lower values of ID is closer to D day, if you will. Okay, so here's my Mahalanobis distance values, and smaller values indicate less of a deviation from the norm. And we can see that on the uh, trading volume on the day before the announcement, we got a whopping Mahalanobis distance value of 32. Now these values uh, are uh, have distributional properties equivalent to a chi-square distribution. So if you know what the chi-square distribution is, uh, and this would be one degree of freedom because we've only got one independent variable, which is volume, we've only got one variable. Um, we could see that uh, 32 is very, very large for a chi-square value, and then there's, and yeah, this is very big too, 17, and then 5, and then all these are, are normal, not, well normal, these are, you know, very small deviations from what you would expect uh, based on the averages uh, used for the Mahala Nebus distance uh, value calculations. Uh, a couple, no, these are kind of big-ish, but uh, are these statistically significant? That's the question I'm asking. So I, this, I've got these values going down all the way to, to 75. So to March 25th uh, is the, the first trading day that I've got in my series of data, all the way to July 13th. Now, I want to calculate some p-values associated with each of these Mahalanobis distance uh, values. So I'm going to go into Compute, and I'm going to call Mahalanobis uh, distance p value. Okay, so I'm going to create that variable and I want uh, significance. I want to calculate the significance of that and to go do that I want chi-square values. So I need to add the quantity here and the degrees of freedom. 
which is 1. I've only got one variable that I'm looking at. Again, Mahalanobis distance can be used in uh, multivariate normality uh, analysis. So if you had several independent variables in a multiple regression and you 